Today, we're reporting 611 new cases of COVID-19. That makes today one of the highest days uh, that we have had, though certainly in the last week we have had uh, all but one uh, of the highest days that we have seen on record. The question is, can we stop the escalation from here? Can we, just like when we first responded, force a plateau using slightly different methods, primarily getting everybody to wear a facial covering, about reducing our, our get-togethers down to 10 people or less, about canceling those vacations to states with a very high positivity rate. Those give us the tools along with our Healthy at Work initiatives to make sure we get this right, to stop it where it is, and to make sure we don't go through uh, the devastation that some states to our south and southwest are going through. Our 611 cases today bring us to a total case count of 200, I mean, no, of 25,147. That's after we remove all of our duplications. Uh, of those, 23,882 are lab confirmed, 1,265 are probable. Uh, we are required by the federal government to report our probables. Some states don't even pull them out of the regular number. We want to make sure that we give as much transparency on them as possible. Our total number of, of tests that we have done to date, 565,490. Uh, our positivity rate today, 4.94 percent. Pretty similar to what it was yesterday, uh, but again, uh, that's gone up about 2 percent over the last three or so weeks. If we want to get this virus under control, we ultimately want to see uh, that number eventually going down. And if that number goes down, even if we have the same amount or, or more cases, but we have more testing, that number going down will show that we are actually lessening the spread of virus in the overall context of, of Kentucky. A little bit of good news today, and it's just a little bit. Uh, current number of patients hospitalized, 581. I believe that's down a little bit from yesterday. Currently in the ICU, 135. I believe that's down a little bit. Uh, number of patients recovered, 7,046. That's up, but again, that's an imperfect number. Remember that we get our numbers of positives and tests from labs. Those are required reports. We get the number of uh, people in the hospital for COVID and, and ICU directly from hospitals. Those are required uh, reports. The numbers recovered we typically get from our local health departments and other means, and that's just a tougher number uh, to get the accurate information. We believe it's much greater than that, but we can only report a number to you uh, that we have information that, that fully uh, supports. Again, while we see our, our cases going up, and remember, there's a pretty established mortality rate that we hope we can push down a little, but every time we have 611 cases, you know, that means 18 plus people that we're going to ultimately or we're likely to lose. So let's remember every day with a high number of cases is, is a day we don't want to have. On the positive side, we are still in um, a generally good place with our overall bed capacity in Kentucky, our ICU capacity, and certainly our, our number of ventilators that we still have out there. But in escalating cases, that can get out of control really fast. And we continue to see hospital systems in the states to our south uh, running out of ICU beds. So we just don't want to let that happen here. That's why we're acting early to stop this rise that we're seeing. New cases by county. I'll just do the double-digit counties. Jefferson, 116. Warren, 49. Oldham, 32. Fayette, 28. Boyle County, 27. Uh, that's a higher number than we've seen. Harlan, we continue to see a lot of spread, 19. Now, the, the uh, facial covering mandate isn't showing up yet in our numbers. Uh, we do get reports from Harlan that they're doing a really good job. Laurel, 19. Bell, 17. Kenton, 16. Campbell and Graves, 14. Christian and Davis, 13. Jessamine and Scott, 12. Hardin and Ohio County, 10. Uh, so the rest of it is online where our report and all of our data is every day. Continue to see a very disturbing trend of kids under five testing positive. 
Today, it's 21 kids under five that have tested positive for the coronavirus, and they come from 13 different counties, meaning it's not uh, isolated. Kids can get this virus. We absolutely know that, and, and that means that we have an even greater duty, I think, to make sure we wear those facial coverings to protect the most innocent among us, keeps us from bringing it home to our kids, keeps us from spreading it to other people's kids, and surely we all have a duty uh, to do that. Today, we've also lost an additional seven Kentuckians uh, to COVID-19. We're reporting seven deaths today. And, and the spread in ages today ought to tell us something, too. There's one in their 40s, one in their 50s, and three in their 60s. As we see the number of people passing away uh, with, with COVID being a factor, uh, number of people in their 60s increasing, I think, pretty significantly. Today, we've lost a 49-year-old woman from Fayette County. 57-year-old woman from Jefferson County, a 64-year-old woman from Knox County, an 88-year-old female from Ohio County, a 68-year-old woman from Whitley County, a 60-year-old woman from Casey County, and an 89-year-old woman from Ohio County. So remember to ring those bells. 